Why did a young woman vanish without a trace, leaving her car and personal belongings behind? On a chilly December day in 2011, Phoenix Lucille Colden, a 23-year-old woman from St. Louis, Missouri, drove away from her family home, never to be seen again. She left her family home in her black 1998 Chevy Blazer, with her mother watching as she pulled out of the driveway. Little did anyone know that this would be the last time Phoenix would be seen by her family. Hours later, Phoenix's vehicle was discovered abandoned at an intersection in East St. Louis, just 25 minutes from her home. The keys were still in the ignition, and her personal belongings, including her glasses, purse, and shoes, were left inside the car. The scene painted a picture of sudden and unusual circumstances surrounding her disappearance. Prior to her disappearance, Phoenix lived a life marked by routine and close family ties. However, as investigators delved deeper into her case, they uncovered layers of complexity that her family was unaware of. Phoenix, a university student, had recently stopped attending classes without her parents' knowledge. Additionally, she was involved in multiple relationships that her family was not fully aware of, adding a dimension of mystery to her personal life that proved challenging for investigators to unravel. The Colden family hired a private investigator who shared some intriguing details about Phoenix's life leading up to her disappearance. According to the investigator, Phoenix had been taking things out of the family safe and discovered two birth certificates for herself. One with her mother's maiden name, Phoenix Reeves, and another with her current name, Phoenix Colden. This revelation suggested that Phoenix may not have known that Lawrence Colden was not her biological father. The investigator also described heated arguments between Phoenix and her parents in the days before she vanished, adding further complexity to the case. In March 2014, a friend of Phoenix reported seeing her on an airplane traveling from Las Vegas to St. Louis. The friend called out to her, but the woman responded with, Oh, do I look like someone? The friend confirmed that the woman looked like Phoenix, but the woman stopped communicating with her and disappeared with a group of well-dressed individuals upon landing. Despite the friend alerting authorities, the group could not be located, leaving the sighting unconfirmed and adding another layer of mystery to Phoenix's case. Over the years, police and family members have explored various leads and theories in their search for Phoenix. Some speculate that she may have started a new life elsewhere, while others fear she might have met with foul play or fallen victim to human trafficking. Despite extensive media coverage, including appearances on national television and the efforts of multiple law enforcement agencies, Phoenix's whereabouts remain unknown. Phoenix Colden's case also highlights the broader issue of missing persons of color, who often receive less media attention and resources compared to other missing persons cases. The disappearance of Phoenix Lucille Colden remains a haunting mystery that has left her family, friends, and community searching for answers. If you found the story of Phoenix Lucille Colden intriguing and want to learn more about other baffling mysteries, be sure to like and subscribe to the Baffling Mysteries YouTube channel.